Hey everybody, Mount Doom Mania here, and welcome back to the 10 Can Challenge! Woo! And how are you guys doing? I am doing just peachy keen. Um, please don't eat me so quickly. And welcome back. It is time once again to kick this off. Um, if you are new to the 10 Can Challenge, this is my personal charity. And the 10 can, this is something that means a lot to me. And the 10 can challenge is my way of making you aware of it. Okay. Basically what I do is once, twice a month, um, I look for a game to play. And I usually pick Slither IO because ever how many minutes I can stay alive is how many cans of food I donate to a local place in my town. Uh, there are a lot of churches here that have food banks. We have a homeless shelter uh, that struggles a lot because a lot of people lose jobs. Uh, their houses burn down for whatever reason. They need somewhere to stay. And here lately, they are getting a lot of business. Um, and they struggle needing food. So these places are where I donate cans of food. And I mean, I am not rich uh, in any sense of the word. Most of the time I'm broke from paycheck to paycheck, just like everybody out there. But if you take a minute and uh, look at sales papers, um, look at the newspaper if you get it, there are coupons, there are sales in stores. Sometimes you can get 10 can, 10, T E N, cans of food for a dollar. Five cans of food for a dollar. So you could take five bucks and, I mean, really help somebody out and not even realize that just a few cans of food can feed quite a few people it's it's not um, it's not a it's not a hard thing to do to give to charity you know what I'm saying it's um, it's an easy thing to do money wise it can be hard Going through your cabinet and gathering up a few cans of food to help somebody have a meal on the table is not a hard thing to do. And I think we've all been there. Uh, if, if you're younger, you probably don't know about it because your parents haven't told you. Um, there could be somebody in your school sitting right next to you and you would never know that they're having a hard time having a meal uh, there could be somebody in your job, somebody at your church, somebody in your life that is having a hard time right now getting a meal. And it's different circumstances. They could have lost their house to fire. They could lost the dad could have lost his job. Mom could have lost her job. Um, a flood, a tornado, hurricane, all these things affect people. And sometimes you don't even know it. You never hear about it. And it's scary how more and more people are having trouble putting a meal on the table. It's getting to be scary. I never thought in my whole life I would see in my hometown people standing on the side of the road with a sign you know, um, and not asking for money, asking for food. Now, a lot of people will be say, well, that's just a scam. Maybe it is. Maybe it is a scam. But how can you not help people? And even though you might think that is a scam, 
you know, it's just, it kind of, it scares me how desensitized people are becoming to other people's hardships. You know? Oh, well, I can't do anything about it. You know, oh, so what? Somebody will help. And they shrug it off like it is nothing. And I'm just like, have you ever been hungry? Do you know what it's like to feel that pinch in your belly? And no, I mean, it's not like, oh, well, I can go to the fridge and get something. Because there's nothing in the fridge. Uh, I'll go make a sandwich. There's nothing to make a sandwich with. I'll, I'll go, you know, I'll go to so-and-so's house to eat. Well, maybe you don't have the gas to go to so-and-so's house. Well, they're, they're relatives that help them. What if they don't have any relatives? What if they don't have anybody? What if their relatives are in the same boat they are? There are, I mean, I know there's a lot of scams that go on. I'm not, you know, I'm not blind to that fact. But I am saying that there are situations that people can get in through no fault of their own that prevent them from feeding themselves or feeding their kids. And I have told you this before. I've been there, folks. I know what it's like to be hungry and not be able to feed my kids. You know? Between, uh, you get, a company closes down and you're, you're without a job. And when you live in a small town like this, I mean, you know, um, sometimes, it, sometimes, most times, it's paycheck to paycheck that you survive. And now that paycheck's gone for whatever reason. Now what do you do? What if you don't have any relatives that you can, you know, so you go to a food bank. Or, you know, the ch- your church has a food bank. Or there's one in your area. And there are some people that just, they won't ask family for help. They would rather go to, you know, because they're embarrassed. They're, they're you know, uh, or for whatever reason, they just, they can't. They can't bring themselves to do it. So they will go to a food bank to get food. And that's fine. That's why they're there. But these places are getting used more and more and more. And, you know, they don't, a lot of these places are private. They don't get uh, government uh, money or anything like that, you know. Uh, It is donations that keep these places going. And that's why it's so important to know what is in your neighborhood. Um... Some places are huge, you know, huge big cities. They probably have dozens and dozens and dozens. And there's probably one in your neighborhood somewhere. Uh, if you'll take time to go find it. And they'll tell you, yeah, man, we'll take <laughs> we'll take any kind of food you want to give us. And there are other places that, you know... Um, that you never hear about. I mean, some places you do Red Cross. I mean, everybody knows what the Red Cross is, you know. And they help people. Uh, they take donations. Um, you know, it's Goodwill has like thrift stores all over, and they take donations. Salvation Army, and these are big places. But I am saying that if you don't have those in your town, I don't have any of that in my town. You know. Uh, but there are places that small communities have. And usually it's churches or, you know, uh, some sort of... Um, we don't have one here, like soup kitchens. I know big cities have those. And you can go get a, uh, go get a hot meal. And sometimes a hot meal can get you through to the next day. You know? And... It's not anything, I mean, you know, it's easy to say, well, it's not anything to be ashamed of. But it's, you know, it's hard. It's hard to, when you are a person that is full of pride, uh, it is hard to ask for help. I get that. I understand exactly what you're talking about. I get it. You know, you don't want anybody to sneer and, you know, well, look at them. They can't even feed their kids. 
You know, people don't know your circumstances. They don't know what's going on in your life. You know, they probably never had that problem. So, what can you do? Well, one thing that we can do is to help. And a way to do that is pick a game and accept my 10 can challenge. Pick a game, any game, I don't care what it is. You, your family, your friends, get together and figure out a way to score and donate up oh, got me and donate that amount of food to somewhere in your neighborhood a church a, a food bank um, a homeless shelter anything so I lasted 10 minutes so I will get 10 cans 10 cans of food and I will donate it uh, a friend of mine at work donated 25 can she does not want to be named that's perfectly fine uh, but you know who you are, and I thank you. Uh, she donated 25 cans of food to our local homeless shelter. I will be donating 10 cans of food to where I usually do. And in one week, there is 35 cans of food, and that will go a long way to feeding a lot of families and people that need it. So, take my challenge. If you are a YouTuber, Make a video about it. Stream it. Uh, Instagram. Take pictures of the food. And, you know, I mean, it's charity, folks. And we can make a positive change in somebody's life. Not by giving big, huge numbers of money. Which is, I mean, if you got it, that's wonderful, you know. Uh, it, but sometimes just a can of food can make a whole lot of difference in somebody's life. Okay? So, there you go. 10 can challenge 2018 that is our goal this year 2018 cans of food before the end of the year all right so i will catch you next time this is mountain dew mania spread the word spread the love let's go i'm so out of here bye guys <laughs>